Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here finally one of the best updates of the RPCS3 emulator Android is here not just that but in today's video we'll be testing out Grand Theft Auto 5 to see how well does it actually work on this PS3 emulator for Android well to get started guys RPCS3 emulators alpha version 4.0 was just released about 10 hours ago as you guys will be able to see and this fixes lot of problems it adds lot of new features and in today's video we'll be testing it out on our Android device but before we start if you guys are new here hit that like button Button, subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel with that being said let's get started now first of all if you tap on the three lines at the top left corner there is a brand new system info bar which has been added that shows you your device specification now I'm not really sure if this is a relevant feature instead the developers could have added the configuration bar where we can modify the settings of our PCS emulator nonetheless you'll be able to see I use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device which is Realme GT 7 Pro anyways as you Usually, if you want to set up this PS3 emulator on your Android device, make sure to import firmware. Afterwards, you can tap on the plus button and import your PS3 games that you want to test out inside this emulator. To start off, we'll be testing out Grand Theft Auto 5 as the first game in our today's video. Now, I have already imported this game inside my RPCS3 emulator and I opened it for the first time just to load PPU models a bit faster. So, you guys won't have to wait seeing a loading screen and minimum requirements for RPCS3 emulator are Android version 12 or above. Along with that, you need at least Snapdragon 888 processor or above if you want to emulate some good PS3 titles at decent FPS. This PS3 emulator for Android is also supported on MediaTek processor Android devices or even Mali GPU like MediaTek Exynos and Kirin processors. And here we go guys, Grand Theft Auto 5 is about to start. Just take a look at this, we are about to emulate a legit PS3 game on our Android device. Not just that but in this brand new update finally joystick controls have been added as you'll be able to see previously there were no joystick controls but now you get two joystick controls so I guess that's pretty great we'll just go and tap the X button and here we go our game is about to start you'll be able to see the GTA 5 loading screen and I am very surprised because if you take a look at the top left corner we are getting almost 30 FPS during the loading screen and I am very excited to see how well will this game actually work if you told me about 8 years ago that someday I'll be sitting here playing the GTA 5 PS3 version on my Android device I would literally laugh at you and say that it's just impossible because back in the day even playing GTA 5 using cloud games was almost impossible but now here we are in 2025 emulating GTA 5 natively on our Android devices with the help of our PCS3 emulator Android port so it will be good only if it works so let's wait and see the audio output is also working by the way so no issues with the audio output and as you'll be able to see now it says compiling shaders and here we go guys the game was just about to start but unfortunately as you guys just saw it crashed it doesn't work I guess but someone actually managed to put this game on their MediaTek processor Android device as funny as it sounds I guess on Exynos 1380 processor they managed to boot GTA 5 but I am pretty sure that if we try rebooting it two to three times it will actually go in game now I'll be making a dedicated gameplay test video trying out GTA 5 inside the RPCS3 Android port so stay tuned for that make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel but just for namesake let's try out a different game Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm so here we go the game has successfully started even the audio output is working so that's pretty cool let's take a look at the performance improvements in this version of rpcs3 android so here we go the game has successfully started and immediately you'll be able to see it's very smooth because the shaders have been compiled that's why everything is super quick at the top left corner you will be able to see we are getting straight up stable 30 fps which means native ps3 gameplay experience on your android device and now that the joystick controls are here we can finally move our character now without needing to worry about anything so yeah that's pretty amazing guys do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this brand new version of rpcs3 emulator for android i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching goodbye peace out